Hello, I'm Matt Schwartz. I am the current president of the Temple at Ith Israel Bresh Shalom here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm standing here with Rabbi Chet Diamond, Rabbi Emeritus of the Temple. And the question is, if you've been in the Temple before, how often have you stood in this lobby and wondered about this beautiful tapestry? So I'm here to ask Rabbi Diamond a few questions about that. So beautiful. if you would, yes. where did this come from? That's wonderful. <laughs> Actually, it came from Bob Market, who did all of the faceted glass windows okay. and designed this tapestry, which he called a fabric mosaic. Uh, and that's the technical term for her, rather than just a tapestry. Right. A fabric mosaic. And we had uh, Kate Fisher, who was um, an expert in doing this kind of thing after he took and made a picture of it and then she followed it and um, dyed it in her own bathtub in <laughs> various pieces so she would get the right colors. So how long has it been in the lobby? Was it here right when the building was built? Uh, just about, that's close. Okay, and, and so tell me a little bit about well, well, the it, tapestry the, itself. The, the, the wall was kind of bland, just bricks, and we wanted something to, uh, to highlight the, uh, the wall, and uh, it was very difficult to come up with something, except that Bob Markert uh, was known for light-activated art. <laughs> he did all of our stained glass windows and, and so on, and so he did this, and this is a, a stained glass window out of cloth. So tell me a little bit about what it tells well, us. Well, the, the primary thing <clears throat> is the border, which says uh, from the book of Micah, the prophet Micah, uh, it hath been told thee, O man, what is good, and what the Lord doth require of thee, only to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. And there are 65 feet of, um, of words, Hebrew and English, around the border. Okay. So, so there it is. And um, actually, there are three spheres. The sun uh, and the yod, which is an abbreviation for God, and that is at the top of that centerpiece. And near that is a, a golden flower to represent beauty. And then there's a dove with holding a, uh, a branch uh, representing the, the peace that the dove represents. And then below that are three anonymous people. Um, and that's humanity. And uh, the interesting thing is that the uh, woman who fabricated this um, used a, a seminal technique to take strips of cloth and cut them horizontally so that you have little um, mosaic, like mosaic tiles. And then you can place them. As you can see, she's placed them in different places so that there's a feeling of connection. Right. Uh, and you can see that the, the people here are united, and you can see the hands which are hold, they're holding each other, showing humanity all together. Here is a small piece which shows the promise of growth. And then here, you have the fulfillment of that promise of growth with the fruit. You can see the, the red pieces which represent fruit. Hmm. Uh, and that aspiring heavenward, you can see the, how the growth has taken place. And uh, you have the, the stars of the heavens. As, uh, Abraham was told in the Bible that he will be, his people will multiply as the stars of the heaven. So you can see that in there. And this you can see is the growth of this one piece, but it's interesting the way uh, 
she did it so that it, uh, it looks like earth. Right. And then you've got water, which is artistically holding up those three uh, spheres and represents uh, justice, let justice well up as waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. That's from the book of Amos, and the book of Amos was Dr. Waller's favorite uh, prophet. And uh, there you can see the waters ra rising up around the people uh, with justice and righteousness. So it's fitting that we started our tour of the temple treasures yes. with this piece. Absolutely. And, absolutely. Um, and so we appreciate you sharing your knowledge of it. Always. And uh, we look forward to uh, sure. hearing about more treasures of okay, the temple. Absolutely. Thank you.